Hello, everybody. Welcome to our UFC show. I'm Tony T from Tony'sPicks.com. We're, we're here with you every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, giving out live free picks for the UFC card here for Saturday. With us tonight, as always, is Jose Sanabria. You can find him over at Tony'sPicks.com, where he's putting up some really great numbers. Before we get to Jose, just to want to remind you guys a few things here. Our promo code running here for our video audience. You can save 20% off all pre and pick packages. When you use a promo code Tony T at checkout, you can access our page by clicking the link in the description below, clicking the All Cappers tab, and getting signed up. And uh, before we start here, just a reminder, we'd like to hear from you guys. So go ahead and post your picks in the comments below. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get the show underway. Let's go ahead and welcome Jose Sanabria. If I'm over at TonySpace.com. Jose, how, how's it going tonight? Pretty good, Tony, man. We uh, had a few couple good weeks here and um, getting ready to go one last car before our Memorial Day break. Then we get back into a nice 12 week straight run of summer fights and I can't wait. I'm pretty excited for it. Oh yeah, it looks like a really good card here for tonight. Uh, the the uh, UFC fight night will be aired over on ESPN Plus for the prelims and the main card. So we got a nice little five pack here for, from uh, uh, Jose Sanabria. We'll deliver here tonight on the show. So let's go ahead and let's get started here with our, with our first fight pick here on the evening. And we're gonna be looking here at uh, Sam Hughes against Elise Reese. So we're going to start off here. We're going to go into the strawweight division, and we have Elise Reed taking on Sam Hughes. Now, Elise Reed is a striker, and she's coming off of a split decision win off of Corey McKenna over in the uh, London card not so long ago. She has um, some popular punches. She has pretty uh, non-existent ground game, but she has shown an ability to be able to get back up off from takedowns, as she showed against Corey McKenna in her last fight. Take a look over at Sam Hughes. She has pretty similar numbers. You, took, you can take a look at their striking uh, numbers across the board. They're pretty even, but Sam does have an edge in takedowns. I look at this fight and I see similarities. Elise Reed coming off of fighting a grappler and Sam Hughes, her last opponent where she won was a striker, Stella Nunes. She got a decision win there. So I see kind of a repeat for both fighters at the same fight. Who's gonna learn more? Who's gonna be able to take the advantage from their last fight and learn? I see Sam Hughes having the size advantage and being the grappler and having the edge, the only edge in statistics in that realm. So I'm going to go with Sam Hughes at plus 135. All right, Jose Sanabria here uh, with his first fight pick here on our MMA show here on our five packs. Let's take Sam Hughes plus 135 against Elise Reed. All right, let's continue on here with our UFC show here. Joined by Jose Sanabria. Make sure you like and subscribe. Set those notifications because you want to make sure you get the best bet. We are making those picks here. We do that when you watch us live. All right, let's continue on here with our UFC uh, pick show here with Jose Sanabria. Next up here, we'll be looking at Chase Hooper against Felipe Corrales. All right, so we make our way over, and we're going to take a look at Chase Hooper and Felipe Corrales. Now, Chase Hooper is a prospect who might have come into the game just a little too early. He's only 21 years old. Came in at about maybe 19 years old, just a baby. He hasn't quite really developed into his full adult body yet, and he has a lot of learning to do. But when you see what he does have, you see why the UFC believes in him. He has very slick submission game, and he also has just a long frame. He just needs to work on his striking a little bit. Take a look at his numbers. He's about a 50-50 striker, and he averages about 2.16 submissions per, per fight. Now, Felipe Corrales' his opponent has a negative striking differential, pretty massive. Landing 2.27 and absorbing 4.65. On top of that, with his low takedown defense of 37%, and even though he has shown a good account of himself in his last fight with the split loss against Chris Gutierrez, he allows the fight to get to the ground a little more often than I like against an opponent like Chase Hooper. Even though he's still very green, he's a very eager fighter, and he always tries to get those limbs and get those submission attacks. So in this fight, I'm taking Chase Hooper at plus money, plus 150. All right, uh, Jose Sanapria, they'll find his picks over at Tony'sPicks.com here uh, with pick number two here from our UFC uh, fight pick show. Uh, Chase Hooper against Felipe Corrales. He says take Chase Hooper at plus 150. All right, let's continue on here with our show, guys. You can find the best bets here from uh, Jose Sanabria by following the link below in the description. And, of course, click the All Cappers tab, and you'll find Jose's page there. Get signed up for his, for his uh, premium pick packages here from this big UFC card. You could use the promo code TONYT at checkout, and you'll save 20% off. Let's continue on here with our UFC Fight Night Pick Show here. Uh, we're joined by Jose Sanabria. Next up is uh, pick three here on our on our five-pack. We're going to be looking at Ellen Amandowski against Jose Holmes. Joseph Holmes. 
All right, making our way up into the middleweight division, we have Joseph Holmes sitting at seven and two, taking on Alan Amadowski at eight and two. Now, Alan Amadowski is coming off of a big layoff. His last fight was in 2019, where he was knocked out in 14 seconds by John Phillips. If you look at his numbers across the board, they're pretty low. He seems to not have a very good uh, ability to just grow from the next fight to another. Now, he is three years off, so there's plenty of time to improve and reset yourself. But I'm the kind of person that you got to show me before I can trust you. So you take a look over the other side at uh, Joseph Holmes, who had a good account in himself in his last fight, which was a decision lost against Jamie Pickett. Take a look at Joseph Holmes. He will be the taller, longer, and younger fighter. On top of that, you got to factor in that he's going to have James Krauts in his corner, who's a very, very well-known coach who has very good game planning. Uh, and he has a great way of getting the best out of his fighters in his fights. So you take a look at this, and I see someone – in Joseph Holmes, who the UFC wants to bring up, picking him against someone who hasn't been fighting in a while, and Rusty. Holmes, fresh off of his last win, of his, of his last fight, I see him getting a bounce back and getting a win inside the distance against Alan Ambedowski. So the pick is going to be Joseph Holmes inside the distance at minus 105. All right, Jose Sabria here uh, with this pick here in this one between Alan Amadovsky and Joseph Holmes. He says take Holmes inside the distance, the return, minus 105. All right, let's continue on here with our show here. It's our UFC sh uh, show. We're here Monday. We're here on Friday nights at 9 p.m. each time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and set those notifications so you can get the best bets uh, when we give you out these picks. Let's continue on here with the show. Pick four here on our uh, five-pack. Uh, we'll be looking at Tapia Thirichi against Poliana Viana. All right, so making our way back down to the strawweight division, we have Tabitha Ricci, who's coming off of a decision win against Maria Oliveira. She is a short stature fighter, but she fights tall. She has a very aggressive strike, striking uh, a pressure style that she just likes to get in your face and crowd you with punches. She's taking on Pollyanna Viana. Now, she is coming off of a, her third submission win in a row against Mallory Martin. She is a... I don't want to say one trick pony, but it seems like her favorite thing to do is get the fight to the ground because she loves to snatch arms and make an opponent tap. Three times in a row is not an unlucky thing. I see her trying to do the same thing against Tabitha. Only thing is Tabitha is well versed on the ground. She has a higher takedown and uh, grappling advantage in statistics with Pollyanna Vieira. She will have to be careful, though, because three times in a row isn't, isn't a fluke. So she's going to have to keep her arms right. I see Tabitha keeping the fight standing and using her aggressive striking to point fight Pollyanna Viana. And if she has to take it to the ground, she's game to do it as well. And I see her having a good enough a grappling defense to stay out of those dangerous positions. So I'm going to take Tabitha Ritchie here at the money line at minus 120. All right, Jose Sanabria, find his premium picks over at TonySpace.com here. In this one between Tabitha Ritchie and Pollyanna Viana. He says, go ahead and take, take Tabitha Ricci on the money line, minus 120 against Pollyanna Viana. All right, let's continue on here with our show here. Our UFC fight show is here Monday, uh, here on Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're looking for um, Jose's best bets here from fight night here for Saturday, be sure to click on a link below. Click the all capper side. You'll find Jose's page there. Get signed up and you can save 20% off this premium pick packages when you use the promo code Tony T at checkout. And if you miss any of our picks, we'll do a complete recap here at the end of the show. Let's continue on here with our UFC uh, pick show here with Jose, joined by Jose Sanabria. And uh, we're ready for our next one here, our pick five from our five pack, Holly Holm against Caitlin Vieira. All right, so going, sorry about that. Going into the main event, we're taking a look in the Bantamweight division in the women's, in the women's division, Bantamweight, women's Bantamweight division. We take a look at Holly Holm, who's probably one of the most well-known fighters in the UFC. And we have Caitlin, Caitlin Vieira, who's an up-and-coming prospect, getting her shot in the main event against a, a formidable opponent in Holly Holm. And Caitlin Vieira is coming off of a decision win over Misha Tate, which was a more, her most impressive win, where she showed that she was able to go a distance and maintain all the pressure that Caitlin, uh, Misha was bringing at her through the first few rounds. Holly Holm has had a little bit of a layoff, suffering an injury off of her last decision win against Irene Aldana. She's missed about 18 months with a knee injury. And she also had, I believe, some type of kidney or, or, or infection, but it's all clear now. I take a look at this, and you would look at it from a distance and see that Holly is a little bit up there in age, but you wouldn't know it because she looks just as fresh as she always does. She's got the speed, she's got the crisp striking, and she's got some decent takedown defense at a, at a whopping 90%. 
Now, looking across the board, you see that Ketlin and Holly have similar numbers in striking and in grappling. But Ketlin has the edge in the grappling. She's about 10-15% better in takedown accuracy. That will be her best path to victory. If she can get Holly on the ground and stay on top and do some damage, that is going to be her best path. But Holly, like I said, 90% takedown defense, and she showed a great ability to sprawl, get the underhooks, and peel her opponents off. I see her getting in close, touching up Ketlin, getting away, uh, taking away any kind of takedowns that Ketlin does, and getting three out of four rounds in a decision win. So it's a bit of a square pick, but it's the one that's going to win. So I'm going to go with Holly Holm by decision at minus 115. All right, Jose Sabri here with the main event here with Holly Holm and Caitlin Vieira. He's going to say take home by decision the return of minus 115. All right, uh, we'll continue on here with uh, our UFC show, guys. We're here Friday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure to like and subscribe and set those notifications so you can watch us live and get the best bets. Before we get to our um, uh, recap here, uh, Jose, I want you to let everybody know what you have planned here over at TonySpace.com here for this big fight card here on Saturday from Vegas. By the way, yeah, sure. before um, you do, I just want to make note, you've been doing great work over there at the site. 629 units of profit in the last three days. That's all documents. So you can visit Jose's page, and you'll see all the picks that he's been putting up there. They've been fantastic. been winning. Okay, what do you got going on for Saturday? Yeah, so as I usually do uh, Fridays after weigh-ins, I get my packages up. I'm going to have my four best bets for tomorrow's fight card. So be a look, at, a look out for that. That goes live shortly after I get off the show here. And that's basically what I'm doing. Pretty soon I'm going to be having three-day uh, packages when Bellator gets a little more active and we have a little more MMA action throughout the week. And I'm going to be sprinkling other sports like MLB and NFL. But for right now, we're going to be looking at these at the uh, weekend packages for UFC. And once I get the ball rolling, keep a lookout for those three-day packages and the weekly packages. That's right, that guy's got about Jose Sanabria over at TonySpace.com. You see the numbers here, 629 units of profit last three days. That's all documented. You can verify that over his, over his page. You'll find his UFC uh, fight card here for fight night on Saturday, May 21st, U UFC Apex Arena in Las Vegas. Get on board with his with his uh, plays there. He's been doing great work. As you can see here, the numbers have been fantastic. All right, let's continue on here with our UFC show. And now, uh, Jose, now it's time here for the recap. Sure. So we're going to start from the top, and our first pick is going to be Sam Hughes at plus 135. Second pick is going to be Chase Hooper at plus 150. Third pick will be Joseph Holmes inside the distance at minus 105. Then we're going to take Tabitha Ricci on the money line at minus 120. And our fifth and final pick will be Holly Holm by decision at minus 115. And there you go. We got to the picks here from Jose Sanabria, one of his best bets. Just click the link below on the description and get signed up for his best bets here for UFC Fight Night, May 21st at the Apex in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, uh, that'll do it for our UFC Fight Show, guys. Be sure you like and subscribe and set those notifications because you want to make sure you get the best numbers, uh, of course, when you uh, when you get these picks. All right, that'll do it for tonight. We'll wait good night to you guys. Have a winning weekend. We'll talk to you guys next Friday here with our UFC show with Jose Sanabria.